Hi everyone and welcome to a new Civilization 5 series. So, we are actually going to play Venice. This has to be the most requested sieve ever. I had like hundreds of comments about Venice in the past year or two, but I never actually figured out a fun setup to play it with. However, recently I discovered a great mod which will work just amazingly well as Venice. It's the Mercenaries mod. It is linked in the description below as always. We'll talk about it once we get into the game. I'm still using the Enlightenment Era mod as well, because Enlightenment Era is just amazing. But the Mercenaries mod has got to be one of the best quality mods that I tried recently. It's definitely one of my favorites recently. Out of all the mods I tried in the past month or two, and I tried quite a few, this is definitely the one I enjoyed the most. So, we're going to play as Venice on a fractal map. I don't really want to go for something like Archipelago, because that feels just a little bit too cheesy as Venice, but Fractal usually leads to really well-balanced maps, so we'll go with Fractal. Standard map size, deity difficulty as always, and epic game pace as always. And no other advanced options. No random personalities or anything like that this time. And let's go! I'm looking forward to this. Greeting, Codandolo of Venice. So we're going to Master need a good Saint production Master capital, or a good city location for our capital in general. And this is pretty good. The number one problem Venice usually has is production, because anything you ever want to produce directly yourself has got to be produced in your capital, obviously. So you'll be building wonders, you'll be building units, you'll be building buildings, everything in your capital only. So production tends to be a problem for Venice. This isn't an amazing production start, but I really like this location. We do have salt, which is awesome. We don't have that many tiles with high production. But I think this will do. Alright, let's settle right here. We got an oasis that we can use for extra growth right at the start, although I might go for salt to get that extra hammer to get the scout out faster. Yeah, we can get the scout two turns faster, and that's worth it. The two turns might actually make a difference between grabbing a ruin or having the AI steal it. And there is a ruin to the east already, so that's good. We'll go grab that. So, what's up with the mercenaries mod? We will have to research a tech to unlock the mercenary system right here. That's the technology we need, and this will unlock mercenary contracts. I'll talk about them once we actually get there, but basically... What mercenaries do is that this mod allows you to hire mercenaries, which are units, usually with unique promotions and some experience, that you can get for limited number of turns, 25 turns, most of the time, at least. I think they are all 25 turns. You have to pay them up front to actually hire them, then they will appear around your capital. You pay normal maintenance per turn for these guys. You can extend the contract when it's about to expire. And other than that, they just function like regular units. The units that are available are determined by the era. So once you enter a new era, that will unlock new mercenary units. You'll see how exactly it works once we actually get that tag. But basically, it's experienced units for hire for limited amount of time. The AI will also use them too. In fact, you can see who hired mercenaries when we go here and go into this screen. This will have a list of all the currently hired mercenaries in the game, including the AIs. So you will be able to see which mercenaries got hired by the AI. And you don't need quite a lot of gold to actually hire these guys, which is why this will be amazing as Venice. Because Venice doesn't have a shortage of gold, unless you're doing something really, really wrong. Okay, we do have a city state nearby, that's good. Because we will get a merchant of Venice for free once we get optics. This isn't necessarily a very good city-state, but it's close to us, it might be worth grabbing. Let's have a look around. This isn't an island, is it? It looks a little bit strange so far. Well, there's our scout, but we'll send the scout southeast. This almost looks like an island, I hope it's not, actually. Anyway, now we can switch to that oasis, now that we got the scout out, and get started on the monument. I will probably steal a worker from Florence. Oh, okay, this is not an island, actually, all right. But let's check southeast. One more turn to get plus on population. This is actually a pretty good start 
I don't like all these useless desert tiles to the west, but we got two oasis tiles in range. That's quite nice. Okay, this is the end of this island continent or whatever it is. Now we can lock the salt. I could lock both salt tiles if I want a little bit of extra gold. But I prefer the city to grow faster, for obvious reasons, I think. There's another city state right here, that's good. And does it have anything nice? We'll check it out. Maybe we'll find a city state with a natural wonder. <laughs> they tend to get natural wonders quite often, actually. Yeah, Florence is definitely not amazing. The main benefit it has is that it's close to us and it has a luxury that I don't have otherwise. So is Vilnius any better? It does have fairs, it is pretty close to us and it kind of guards the way to our capital. I assume this is going to be an entire continent in this area because that's probably the case. Right, research is done. So let's go for animal husbandry and we should probably switch to shrine. See if we can get a pantheon. There are some okay-ish pantheons that we could get with this. Desert folklore being the most obvious choice. Barringer crater. Not the best natural wonder ever, but some science from that. And I think gold focus would work it because it does also give you gold. But it's not close to Vilnius, so whatever. Anyway, if we could get desert folklore with this, that would actually be quite nice. We don't have that many desert tiles, but we got two oasis tiles. We'll see, there are a few decent options for a pantheon. Right, here's another city-state. So that one has the Barringer crater, alright. Let's maybe find some neighbors. We didn't find any. Which is both good and bad at the same time. We are going to need good trading partners for trade routes. That's quite possibly the number one most important part about playing Venice. We'll need to maintain friendly relations with some sieves that will provide us with good trade routes. Because, you know, that's where we get our gold from. And we will need a lot of gold with this setup. The more the better. I'm not quite sure just how much data AI will use the mercenary system, because I did test this mod on livestream. But I didn't play too far into the game, and data AIs tend to have tons of gold, like tens of thousands of gold. I don't know just how much they will spam the mercenary dudes. We'll find out! Maybe we can beat them to it. Right, free population. Four more turns to get the shrine. No one got any pantheon yet, from what I saw. I don't think so. Okay, one pantheon for someone. Plus one culture from pastures, not something we would go for. We don't really have any pastures in range, so whatever. That wheat in range is quite nice too. This is a pretty nice start. Other than a few useless tiles, but most of them are good. Alright, let's... okay, we got the Kels. That's not too bad and she's not too close to us. She does tend to be quite aggressive, but she's not that close. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Now the question is, which city-state do we want to grab first? I'll have to think about that. We could get some horses from Vilnius, that might be worth it. We need to see where Aaron is on the map, because that will almost definitely affect my decision. Yeah, it will affect my decision for sure. However, I would also like to unlock archers. We'll probably wait for Arn working before deciding which city-state to get with our first merchant. Okay, well this is a decent start so far. We need to find some more AIs. We need optics anyway to get that merchant, so I'll need to get sailing soon to get a trireme and explore with that. We should be able to continue exploring west through here. So that's what we're going to do, and I'll send the warrior back to Venice just to have some basic defenses there against barbarians mostly. So back we go. And we still need a worker. I might have to recruit a worker myself. Yeah, looks like I actually have to do it myself. Which is fine. Or I could steal it from Vilnius perhaps. Or I can do both. 
there's no problem with doing both, actually. I won't need too many workers, but I will need more than one. Do you have a worker yet? No, you don't. Alright. That's fine. I could just stay here and wait until they do get a worker. Let's go find some more AIs for now. Yeah, we'll just chill around here. Alright, we got some mountains. I hope I can actually go through here. Let's find out. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Good. I was worried for a moment. We got a broad. We'll have to handle that, I guess. And we got that wheat tile. I think he will attack the city-state. Yes, he will. We can move away from him. Or we can go get the experience. Whatever works. These assignments are fine, unless we want one extra hammer at the cost of one food. Get that worker out faster? Yeah, okay. That's fine. And now we'll go for bronze working. Or we could get that a little bit later. But we'll need mining to improve salt anyway. So yeah, we have to research mining one way or the other. No AIs so far, other than the Kells. Alright. Well, kill this guy already. And we can continue exploring to the south. Good! Next. Nine more turns. We can check Florence. Maybe it will have a worker. Or I can check Vilnius again. Whatever works. Okay, let's check Vilnius again. Come on, give me more AIs. We need that tech bonus. Come on. I'm sure there are more AIs somewhere around here. We are actually a little bit isolated. Which isn't necessarily a good thing. I need some trading partners. I assume I'll have some trading partners using sea trade routes, but... I don't know, we'll see about that. Plus some population, so yeah, this is fine. Or we can work the oasis. 22 turns for the city to grow. Alright. Next. So far, I'm leaning towards annexing Florence. Because while it's not a brilliant city, it will allow us to use internal sea trade routes. At least one internal sea trade route. So I'll be able to send either production using a cargo ship from Florence to Venice or food. We will need production in Venice. As I said, production tends to be a problem for Venice. So I'm already thinking about that. Okay, we got yet another city-state, but still no more AIs. Interesting. Surely there are some AIs nearby. There have to be. There's mining, let's continue exploring west. So, do you have a worker? No, you don't? Oh, there's a worker here, alright. I'm not sure if I can beat a hand axe using a warrior. I probably can't. Well, I need to heal this guy to fall. So, let's just wait one more turn. Vilnius won't like it, but I don't really care about their opinion all that much. So let's do some damage, and I might have to back up. We got... okay, Pocatello. That's not too bad, and we got Byzantium. That's not too bad either. Okay. And now we can get an archer perhaps, to have at least one unit. Because, you know, we can't recruit a settler anyway, <laughs> so might as well get an archer. And keep exploring through here. Nope, I'm not giving you an embassy. I might have to back up. Can we finish this guy off? No, it will be safer to just back up slightly. I wouldn't want to lose my only military unit at the moment. Yeah, and we got Poland. Alright then. Are they all super close to each other? That would be good for us. But we don't have any easy target for our initial conquests. Oh, great. She stole the worker. Alright, whatever. I could just steal this one, but there's no need. We got one worker out. This is going to be good enough for now. There's no need to piss off the city-state when we don't have to. Alright, just back up. Back to our capital and keep exploring. Find more AIs. We still need two more. Okay, and... okay, the Mongols. That's fine. We can get all these people to fight the Mongols. That will keep them busy. Two turns to finish the archer. And yeah, I think we'll annex Florence first. 
I'm leaning towards getting Florence. We don't quite know where Aaron is just yet, but it will be nice for the sea trade routes. And we will need that in the long run. It does have gold. It might have some sea resources that we can't quite see right now. Yeah, I like that. Right, so the archer should stay in the city. And let's keep exploring. What's next? We got that archer. We can't get any trade routes yet other than with the city-state that I'm about to annex. Can we reach Vilnius? We should be able to. Yes, we can. I could also annex Vilnius to get trade routes with the Celts. But I could just build a caravansary later. We'll probably need a caravansary. Unless we find some AIs to get sea trade routes with. Yeah, this is not an easy choice. We could go for Vilnius to get some initial trade routes set up with the Celts, and also to make it easier to attack them. But I would only attack them if I can get decent options for trade routes with someone else. I can't attack my only potential trade partner. Because, yeah, we can't afford to do that as, as Venice. Anyway. Let's get one more archer. Or we can get that granary. Yep, let's get the granary. There's no huge rush to record military units just yet. And actually, we should get a library. <laughs> yep, a library first. The great library is still available. All right. I had to check if we're playing on data. <laughs> we can exchange the embassy, that's fine. Salt connected for Florence. If we could get allied with Florence then annexing Vilnius would make more sense. We'll see. Right, so I think we'll just get sailing and then optics. Optics before philosophy. Possibly. I'm not convinced, but it would be nice to annex that second city ASAP. Natural wonder. Oh, that's a pretty good one. But it's super far away from us. Okay, embassy, sure. We should just get an embassy with everyone at this point. And yeah, I'm not fighting that hand axe, obviously. We'll just chill around here. And we can sell the salt already. Because we'll hook up the next one soon enough. Alright, well, let's just sell it to the Kels. For 7 gold per turn. I really need a second target. Hopefully there will be some sieve across the sea. We need sailing and that trireme to explore a bit. This is a bit of a strange start. This is a very strange start so far. Well, we'll just have to see. Alright, landed elite? Yes, landed elite first. And monarchy after that. Or aristocracy after that, actually. Because we'll need that national college soon. And we will get the tech to unlock the mercenaries, don't worry. Okay, and another wonder. Oh, that's a good one. We can get that promotion for our scout. That will make him faster. The salt is almost improved. Two more turns to finish sailing. And we'll get a trireme after the library. The granary can wait a little bit. I want to explore the sea. Even just with a trireme. So they're sailing. Do we want optics first or philosophy first? 17 turns to get optics. I think I want philosophy first, actually. It's a tough choice, but philosophy makes more sense. All right, maybe guard that worker. I don't think there will be any barbarian camps spawning around here, but you never know. There actually might be. So finish the library and then we'll get the Sharim and then the granary. If there's enough time before philosophy. Improve that and just guard that guy. Next. This is actually kind of bad because we can't set up trade routes for extra science. That's the worst part about this start. Which is one of the reasons I'm strongly considering Vilnius to get Shedras with the Kells, not just for gold, but also for science. 
Alright, Pantheon. Desert Folklore is available. I think that's a no-brainer, although... What are our other options? Is the Faith from Salt available? I think it's gone. Let's see... yeah, it's gone, so we can't get that. Desert Folklore. That still makes more sense than Faith from Salt, even if it was available. I might have to buy that tile to the west, but that's fine. Alright. Desert Folklore it is then, and we'll just buy that second oasis. Like this, and let's redo these assignments. This is actually fine-ish. Yep, looks good to me. Very nice. And I could also get that floodplain. In fact, I probably should. Another city-state. Okay. Eight turns. I think we should go improve the floodplain instead. But that's 115 gold. Shouldn't be wasting gold that much. And here's the first war. Good, that will keep them busy. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. We're just not close enough to the Kells for them to consider us as a first target. They might still attack us at some point, but this should keep them busy for a bit. I'm not too worried about that. And defense is pretty easy with the mercenary system, if you have the gold, actually. You can recruit some pretty good units if you have the gold for it. And a city-state was already captured by the Mongols. They are just doing what the Mongols usually do. Capture city-states, that's just what they do. Alright, and this will be the camp. Yep, sounds good. Three more turns to finish that Shireem. I really hope we'll get some good options for Shade Routes, because it will kind of cripple us as Venice if we don't. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I will probably get Vilnius, though, to set up some Shade Routes with the Kells. I don't think I want the creation of friendship with the Mongols. Most Sivs tend to hate the Mongols, you know, because they take a lot of city-states. So, yeah, I'm not going to accept that one. There's Calendar, so Philosophy is next. And then we'll go for Optics after Philosophy. The Charim is almost done. We can exchange the Embassy with the Mongols, that's fine. Okay, we still need to find one more AI. Hopefully our Charim will find that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, our options for trade routes are extremely limited right now. <laughs> we have almost no options at all. So I seriously hope there will be some sieve with some coastal cities somewhere nearby. And what? Okay, Carthage already captured Constantinople. Well, it's not that surprising because Theodora tends to be quite weak. She's usually one of the weaker Sieves, although I've seen her do well, like once or twice. But she's usually quite weak on Deity. It's not super surprising. The creation of friendship with Carthage. I suppose I could accept that. They don't have any bad relations with anyone right now. So that should be fine. Okay, accept. The creation of friendship with Carthage is usually not worth a whole lot, but we can still accept that. We'll need some research agreements anyway. So I don't know if I'll be able to explore through here or not, but we'll try at least and see how it goes. Okay, 21 turns to get philosophy. Yeah, the lack of trade routes with the AI is actually hurting our science significantly right now. Nope, not interested. I don't like that at all. Because that's a lot of science that we're missing out on. I could easily double or triple my current science output with trade routes. But we can't do it! And that's that. So let's see if we can find anyone this way. There aren't even a lot of coastal city-states over here, which kind of sucks. Okay, we found a Great Barrier Reef. Well, thanks. That's not super useful for me. But maybe there's someone over here? There has to be some land over here. So anyone here? No? Oh, it's in the middle of the sea? Apparently it is, so that's a completely worthless Great Barrier Reef. 
Yep, it can't be worked from anywhere at all. All right, well, we can go through here. Nope. So this kind of sucks. We don't have any options for the shade rails at all. For the seed shade rails, at least. I can still get a caravanzari. And I pretty much have to. In fact, yeah, we should go for horseback riding ASAP after optics. This kind of sucks, and I really liked this start, too. I actually think this is kind of crippling as Venice. Because we won't be able to take advantage of trade routes. I don't know. We can still use land trade routes, but it won't be nearly as effective. Maybe we'll get some options with a harbor, but that will take a while. Okay, well, what can we do now? Not much point building a cargo ship. Or I suppose we can still get one. Alright, let's get a cargo ship. We'll have to switch to philosophy soon. This actually works out perfectly. 13 turns to finish the cargo ship, 13 turns to get philosophy. But this is not a good start. This is not a good start at all. We are not doing well. I have very mixed feelings about this. Because this is a very nice city location, but the start is just terrible. We needed a closer neighbor. We really did. It will help annexing Vilnius, but it's still not that helpful. We need more neighbors in range. The only other neighbor is like super far away. There is a coastal city, but... I don't know if it's going to be close enough. It might be close enough with a harbor. It's kind of impossible to know. It should be close enough from Florence, but I was going to annex Vilnius first. And now I'm having dubs again. If the Celts had some coastal cities here, it would be an easier choice. Well, we should be able to get a trade route with Constantinople from Florence. At least with a harbor. I'm not sure if it's going to happen without a harbor, but it should happen with a harbor. We can still explore this way, I suppose. Ten more turns to get philosophy. But I think I'll have to make a cut here. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to continue in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, please click the like button. And I'll see you next time.